tax deductions. Now, a person pays tax according to how much they earn. The more money they earn, the more tax they have to pay. Now, there are ways of decreasing the amount of tax the government can take for you. And we're going to show you how this works. And it is fair. Okay, and you'll soon see why. So we've got two people here. We've got Joe and we've got Jane. Joe and Jane, right? Both of them earn the same income. They both earn 80 grand. So when you first see that, most people will look at that and go, okay, so surely they say pay the same tax, but it doesn't work like that. Joe has a job as a receptionist, and if you think of what a receptionist does, all they really need to do is travel to and from work, trip to and from work, and apart from that, all the expenses are paid for. The computer is supplied, the phone is supplied, the paper is supplied for printing. They don't have to pay for anything while at work. Okay? Jane has a different story. Jane is a traveling saleswoman. And because she has to... Actually, I should have written it with an A. You were man. Anyway, because she is a traveling saleswoman, um, she has expenses attributed to her work. And she found out that in a year she spent $10,000 on travel expenses from driving around, fixing the car, paying for fuel and things like that. So really, Jane should have to pay tax as if she earned $70,000 instead of eighty. dollars 